Dr. Seuss is the best author of her. I love his books. I think so too. His books are so fun and amazing. But how do they get that book? No, yeah, that's not the question. The question is, how do we get books? How do we get books? Mm. A long time ago, there weren't any books, only storytellers. They all tell long, long stories to the village people. Why do they tell stories, though? Mm. Probably to pass down traditions, expand creativity, to teach them morals, and you know, those kind of things. By telling stories, it will also bring people together and tell people what have happened in history. Oh, but now it's on paper. <laughs> How did that happen? Actually, the clay tablets made by the ancient Mesopotamians in 3200 BC was way before paper. Oh, I know about that. It was really expensive because the scribe had to copy it by hand, which took a lot of time and work. Clay tablets was one of the first copy books, wasn't it? Yes, the invention of the clay tablets made a big impact on the Mesopotamians. They didn't have to carry news and ideas to farther place and rely on people's memory. It didn't only have to be news. They had pictograms, pictures, and stories. And then 105 CE, during the Han Dynasty, paper was invented. Later on, the printing press was made, making everything cheaper. Because making books got cheaper, people started to publish books. In 1450 to 1455, a German poem was one of the first books to be published. Hey, but how do you think it start being all ink printed and all? I believe in 1808, the typewriter was invented. This was a big hit because writing by hand all the time weren't so fun. Even though the machine was quite heavy and inconvenient, it was better than writing by hand every time. Well, in 1962, they started the project on Programma 101, and they launched the first personal computer in 1964. Because of this invention, you could fix a mistake very easily with just a click of the delete key. I like the typewriter, where you had to do many works in order to fix a typo. Oh, I see. Hey, but wasn't it too much work and money to print all those pages, though? Yeah, it was. <laughs> and that's exactly why Chester, Chester Carlson invented the photocopier. Since it was too much work to print so many pages, he decided to make the photocopier. When it was first invented, nobody bought his invention because they felt no need for it. But now, it's loved by everyone. His invention wasn't needless at all. Wow, I never knew that. Now we can all read it in this small device without carrying heavy books around. Yeah, ebook and Kindle had a great impact on society. When were those made? Uh, I believe ebook was made first. This guy named Michael Hart started the idea of ebook in 1971 and started the project Gutenberg. And then a few years ago, in November 2007, Kindle was released on Amazon. And that's how we got to read Dr. Seuss's books. This is amazing. I never knew there was so much history behind books. I think so too. Yeah. Like, I feel so professional. I know, right? <laughs>